What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing a sort of summary of the Camaro project as far as we've came. I am going to be stopping doing Camaro project episodes for a while because the car is upgraded as much as I want it to be currently, but down the road I do have a lot of plans for upgrades. And in the second part of this two part video, I am going to uh, talk about future upgrades and what I plan on doing with this car. Today we're going to do a full overview of everything that is in this car in terms of modifications. For those who don't know, this is a 2LS Camaro 2013. It is a V6 with an automatic transmission. And before any of you guys ask, the reason why I went with a V6 will be explained in the next video that I'll be doing. Um, but it's mostly because of mileage and because the V6 gives plenty of power and plenty of torque. This thing has more power and torque than the, V6, uh, the V8s of the 90s. So this is a pretty powerful um, engine. It is a bit disappointing. It doesn't sound as good as the V8, but uh, with a little bit of modifications, you can make the sound pretty good. Now, in terms of the automatic transmission, um, I was handed down this car uh, from someone else, and I took over payments. It wasn't really my option to choose which transmission I have. And to be fair, I kind of prefer the automatic transmission because I commute daily, deal with traffic. And at the same time, um, the shifters are actually pretty fun in terms of the paddle shifting. And I do enjoy having that because a lot of the higher up cars that, um, you know, I kind of dream of having one day, but it'll probably never happen, do have the paddle shifters. So it's kind of cool to be able to use those. Um, but anyway, that is uh, pretty much what type of car this is, except it's changed quite a bit. I've done a lot of modifications to this to basically make it a little bit up to par with the SS's in terms of the wheels and the tires, and I also put a cold air intake into this thing and an exhaust. So I'm going to show you all of the work that has been done on this car one by one, but first off, let's start with what you can see. So first off, the, the first thing you're going to notice is that if you've ever seen a 1LS or a 2LS, these are not the wheels that come with it. They usually come with 18-inch black ugly steel wheels. Uh, I decided to put the SS 20 inch rims on it with uh, Pirelli P0 tires in the front and in the back. In the front we got 245s, a little bit, you know, standard, and in the rear we have 275s, just to stagger it, give it a bit more grip in the rear, which is a huge improvement over the uh, 18 inches with uh, the all season tires. Uh, the other upgrade that you can see right away is sort of just a aesthetic throwback to the 69 Camaro onto the gills there, a little bit of chrome. And then over here we have just chrome handles that I, get, I put on there just to make it look a little bit nicer and match the silver and black theme of the car. Now we're going to head to the back here where you can see two other things that are very controversial. A lot of people don't like that I did this, uh, but basically I got louvers on the quarter panels and on the rear window. Now, I personally like how that looks. If you don't, that's fine. You know, you're entitled to your own opinion, but I personally like how it looks, um, and that's that, so yeah. On the rear, you can see I have blacked out tail lights, blacked out side lights, even on the front one. I don't know if you'd be able to see that up there, but I blacked out the front. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that at all. Um, so yeah, that's all blacked out. Uh, all of the lights pretty much are blacked out, so that's a thing. Um, also, I have a uh, carbon fiber license plate frame um, with a little bit of aluminum that looks pretty cool. It says Camaro on it, but I can't show you that because my license plate number's on it, so that's a bummer, but it looks pretty cool. So over here, you can see that the Chevy logo is indeed blacked out. I think that's in focus. Yeah, I blacked out the Chevy logo just to match with the black and silver theme. And over here I have a gas cover that's just chrome. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of that, but it looks all right. I might change that, though, in the future. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of the aesthetic upgrades going around the car. Now, one thing... I need to show you guys is the exhaust. I'll just show you it from the exterior. You can see there, I've got some four inch chrome tips. This is a pipes mid muffler exhaust system for the V6 Camaro. 
Um, it's very loud. Some might say too loud. I would definitely say too loud. Uh, but it's pretty good in terms of uh, it adds a little bit of horsepower, not too much. And it just makes it uh, a much nicer sounding package than the, uh, the standard V6 with those mufflers that were just like massive. So that's pretty cool. And I actually have videos on how it sounds inside of the car, outside of the car. You can look on my channel for those. Um, and I'm also going to do a second part to this video where you'll be able to hear it. Now we're going to go ahead and pop the hood and see what I've done in there. So under the hood, we've got the Facetech X5 um, cold air intake, which just adds a bit of uh, throttle response. It actually helps my mileage quite a bit and just overall helps cool the engine better. And uh, yeah, that's really the only mod under the hood. And it probably will stay the only mod for a while. Um, but down the road, forced induction will probably be a good thing to do and possibly long tube headers. But that's it for now. I have a red dome light up here. And down here there's a switch that when flicked would normally turn on red footwell lights. Uh, but they've been damaged a little bit and I have to repair them because the people that installed them originally screwed up. I probably should have never had them installed by someone else. But I'll get that fixed soon. And I also have a Cobra radar detector there. So yeah guys, that is my video, well part one of the video, uh, showcasing my 2013 2LS modified Camaro. Um, I will be doing a video where I'm driving around in this thing and talking about future upgrades, future plans, and also about how these upgrades have affected uh, the performance of this car and, and you know the overall experience of having this car. Um, so look out for that in the future, but that is pretty much it. I will see you guys next time.